Well, tonight the King 5 investigators bring us an exclusive story involving alleged deception and discrimination at a long-standing private university in Seattle. Two former students say Antioch University lured them into a doctoral program with promises of flexible schedules and resources for non-traditional students. Instead, they say Antioch left them thousands of dollars in debt with nothing to show for it. King 5 Susanna Frame is here with our story tonight, Susanna. Mark and Greg, two women are set to file a lawsuit against the school. They say Antioch lied to them, harassed them, and kicked them out of their program, and in the process, crushed their lifelong dreams. Were you, were you pretty excited about getting into this program and getting a doctorate? Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. It all looked good. Yes. Yeah, it looked really good. Dorothy Capers on the left and Cynthia Winters on the right aren't your typical co-eds. In their mid-50s, they were both accepted to Antioch University, located at the time on 6th Avenue in Seattle. They were on the path to earn a prestigious doctorate of psychology. I'm from Louisiana, and I never would expect it to even finish high school. And now going to a doctorate program, it was like, Wow. The fit looked perfect. At the time, in 2011, Antioch's marketing materials for the program targeted non-traditional students, people of color, older students who could still work full or part-time, doctorate coursework specifically designed for working professionals. So you feel like you were deceived? Yes. The women say about three years in, Antioch changed course and left them floundering. All of a sudden, they said there was pressure to go to school full-time. Dorothy had to quit her job as a social worker for DSHS, and Cynthia had to go part-time working with vulnerable adults. They lied to me. It was hard because that was how I paid my bills. The women also say they were harassed. Cynthia went from being selected as one of the students of the year to being accused of cheating, plagiarism on school papers. Since 2011, I'm sorry. And Dorothy was accused of the same plagiarism. After five years of work for Cynthia and seven years in the program for Dorothy, both of them were kicked out. And then when I get in the room, they tell me that I plagiarized. And it was like an attack. It was like an ambush. And then being pushed out and the door shut behind you, saying you can't come in. It was hard. Why would Antioch do such a thing? The women say the school had a new mission, get a prestigious accreditation from the American Psychological Association and part-time working students who might need extra help were in the way. I am core faculty up at Antioch University in Seattle. Dr. Jude Bergkamp, chair of the doctorate program, admitted the change in a 2016 meeting, telling students and faculty that targeting adult learners who went part-time really didn't work for the accreditation and that we've had to change. We don't encourage half-time or part-time stuff anymore. These students were not desired. These are the women's attorneys. And it just shocked me to learn about the pattern of deception. The, the, it's a bait and switch that Antioch pulled uh, quite successfully. These students just were not making the university look good anymore. It was they were bringing the program down in yeah. a way. And these are the same students who they had hoped would raise the water for everyone. Antioch told King 5 they haven't deceived or discriminated against anyone. But the women say the school's done that and more, left them with thousands of dollars of student debt. $250,000. Close to 200000 With nothing to show for it, no doctorate degree, and no dream of getting one anymore. They stole my money. They stole my time with my family, my energy. They stole my desire. They stole from me, and I want them to pay it back. Both of those women are now in their early 60s, and tomorrow they plan on filing the lawsuit against Antioch. Uh, and part of justice for them means getting those loans paid back. And that, that's one of the things they're going to be looking for, for sure. I should also say, they're not alone. The attorneys that we talk to throughout the day today say they've had calls from other students. They considered a class action lawsuit, but um, they're going to start with these women and then move from there. Wow, that's a lot of money that they're in debt. I know. Were they close to graduating? 
They were. One was just 20 credits short, and the other one had more credits to go, but they had, they'd really put a lot of years into it. Mm -hmm. One five years, one seven years, and now it's just gone. Well, keep us posted. Jeez. All right, Susanna. Thanks, Susanna.